Hey guys, it's your favorite gold miner, prospector, and geologist, Jeff Williams. Today I'm going to take you up into those hills right there, and we're going to go look for some lost gold mines and see if we can find some relics and hopefully maybe even some old cabins. So let's get into it. You got some nice looking black sand. Nice looking black sand. Look at that. And there's our first piece of corrugated metal. I got corrugated metal all through this wash. And that tells me, miner's cabin. So we're on the right track. Ah, uh, there's some more corrugated metal right there. You see it? All in the wash here. Oh, and look at this. More metal. More corrugated metal. Ugh. Got an old beer can. It's not that old, but old enough. And that looks like it came off a roof of something. Now, these are gold mines, because you know I gotta have my gold. So we gotta find them, and they're big enough to be on the MRDS. Hey, I found something. Oh, the missus found something. Let's go find out what it is. She's always finding the good stuff. What's up with that? What'd you find, sweetie? Oh, you got a prospect pit. Oh yeah, here's the foot wall right here. We blasted away the hanging wall. And all this is fault gouge. That would be worth sampling. Yeah, here's the vein right here that they were chasing. We'll take a sample of it. Now, remember what I told you about sampling. If you're gonna sample, make sure you mark where it came from. I mean, exactly. Me, I take video of it because I lose track. I got a million samples at home. A lot of them have gold and I can't figure out where they came from. See this dike right here, running along the ridge? And I'll bet you there's more prospects up here. We gotta find their cabin. Oh yeah, broken jars and nails. Oh, we found the cabin. And here's the front porch. Take a look at this. See that? Here's your steps. And there's concrete here. You can see the foundation of it right here. There's the back door. Oh, look at the stove. There's their stove right there. That's a really cool looking front porch. You see that? Look at this. This would be a good place to metal detect. There's so much metal. Here's the baseboards. This looks like maybe the bedroom was over here. Here's, look at this. This is the remnants of a bed. You see this? Remember I'm always telling you about beds? This is the cot, and there's the frame. This is the first one I've seen that still has all the pieces. And I'm sure if you were to put them all together, you can make a cot again. Man, there's a lot of neat stuff here. You imagine what this looked like when it was intact? And if I had to guess, there's diggings somewhere up in there. Now, when you find old cabins like this, start scouting the area because chances are there's gonna be prospect pits and other exploratory shafts and, and drifts that aren't on any map. And those can be very profitable. Like I told you, sample them because they might have just enough gold for it to be profitable for you. Now remember the rule of thumb, has to have free mill gold, no sulfides, and it has to be at least one ounce per ton average, not just high grade. Look at this quartz vein. See it? Do, 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 do. And then I got a prospect pit right over there. And then you see this? That's quartz monzonite. There's one there, one there. They got dikes of quartz monzonite out here. Also probably got rhyolite mixed in with it, if I had to guess. And then you got all that, which has intruded all this porphyritic granite. That's the one that has a huge phenocryst in it. Look at this. Look at this prospect pit. See this? This is their high grade pile. I can see what they were chasing. It's not that great, but I can see evidence of iron oxides in there. Right in through here, and that would be worth chasing. Look at this. See this? If I can get it out of the ground. You see the copper standing on that? That is a very good sign. I can see why they started digging here. You can see where the, the sulfides have oxidized out, leaving those little cube-shaped pits. See that? And there's some more copper standing right there. This is good stuff. I can see why they were digging. There's another one there, another one here. Oh yeah, look at this. This is really good looking ore. So it looks like they found a vein 
that is traveling east and west, which is a no-brainer. A lot of the veins out here travel that way, and there's a reason for that. I'll get into that later. So what we're gonna do is we'll bag up all the good-looking pieces of ore out here, and then we'll ship it off and have it assayed. It's a lot easier that way. And of course, just for fun, I'll crush some of it up at home. And if I see any free mill gold in it, I'll go ahead and post a pic of it at the end of this video. There's one quartz vein there. And look right over here. Remember what I told you, parallel veins? And there's a parallel vein right here. Remember I told you about parallel veins. You're not gonna find just one. There'll be a whole swarm of them. We're gonna head up into those hills there, see if we can find any more prospects because they wouldn't build a cabin out here for nothing. Now on a side note, I get a lot of guys asking me, Jeff, where do you send your samples in to have them assayed? I send them to a company called Reed's Laboratories in California. I've had them test all of my ore and they've been in business for years, so I trust them. But if you're about to sink a lot of money into a mining operation, I highly recommend that you get two independent labs and see if those numbers match. If they do, you're in business. Ah, look at that, here's another cabin. Cabin. This thing was pretty darn big. Look at that. You can see where the walls have all fallen down. There's got to be more of them out here. Pack rats nest. These are great places to metal detect. If you can handle all the little bits of metal and nails. That tells me we're on the right track to finding something really cool. Oh uh, yeah, see all the, all the timbers. Oh, and there's the supports right there. That holds up the entire structure. There's what's left of the flooring right there. See the tongue and groove right there? Where these pieces all kind of lock together? Yeah, that's definite flooring. You know that there's stuff under this floor. It's just a matter of finding it. But right now I'm more interested in finding their gold mines because there could be a chance that there's still high grade gold ore there. And that's what I'm interested in. And I know that's what you're interested in too, or else you wouldn't be watching this video. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Well, I'm not gonna say anything until you smash that like button. Smash it hard! All right, I'll do it. So come on, let's go! There's something up there, but look at this. Somebody built something here. Pieces of wood, looks like a bench. I guess this is their own private little area to go camping with a beautiful view. I mean, just look at that view. You can see for miles. All right, I can see dikes traveling along this quartz monzonite. And I can see somebody's been digging up there, so we're gonna go look at that. Now, if you're burning historic wood just to stay warm, don't do that. Bring your own wood. You can buy it from Lowe's or Home Depot for nothing. But don't be gathering up old wood that's got historic value and burning that. Come on, use your head. And that is what they were digging. You can see the iron oxides in there. <sighs> nothing to write home about. This can't be all. Come on, there's gotta be more. They're not gonna build those two cabins for nothing. So we're gonna look around and see what we can find. We found the main mine that the old timers were working, but of course it looks like BLM got to us first. So I've got three shafts in the area. I've got this one, which is the main shaft. It's obvious and I'll show you why here in a minute. I've got a stope that daylights and then I've got another shaft that's attached to the same vein. Now they found a massive, massive quartz vein here. You can even see it from the highway. Do you see that white discoloration going up the side of the mountain? That's what the old timers saw and I could see it from the freeway and it outcrops right here.
Now take a look at this. You can see that's the main shaft. It's kind of small. They're using a shaft sinking bucket like we use in our mine. And then of course you can see the open stope here. And there's some of the lagging on the shaft. I can see why BLM wanted to seal this one up. It's looking a little sketchy. Now the mine dump's not very large. So I'm not expecting anything too deep on this one. But I wanted to show you the geology of this mine and why they dropped a shaft here and potentials for finding gold in this location and other ones that are similar to it. Now take a look at this open stope. Oh, and by the way, BLM, if you're watching, you guys do a wonderful job on these gates. So take a look at this. See that? I'm gonna try to get you in, in there. You see that? And that's the open stoke. You can see the there's the ore chute and the bins at the bottom. They came up and they worked this vein right here. All the way up to the side there. Beautiful. But that is some really crumbly looking altered rock. Now the host rock out here is obviously a granitoid rock. What got their interest was this beautiful silica vein that has sections of oxidized pyrite in it. And it's obvious when you see it because you can see where the cube inclusions were at. Here's a section of the original vein. See how nice and red that granitoid rock is? Then you've got this silica vein here. You can see where this is all leached out but you have inclusions of iron in there, which got them excited. And I got sulfides in there too. Look at that right there. According to the MRDS reports, they had free mill in it. And that's obvious where the pyrite, the sulfides have oxidized out, leaving limonite. And somebody else has figured this out too, because look at this, that's a header pile, that's a tailing pile, and that is a sample trench right there. So somebody came out here and they wanted to sample for the free mill gold. Now, we're gonna pull samples from here too, except I'm not gonna be doing it in a lot of the loose material. I'm actually gonna pull samples out of the mine dumps, ones that look decent. Now, I don't think this mine was extremely productive, just enough to get a flavor of what's in the ground. So we're gonna sample it and find out. This is a much smaller shaft. You can see where they were using cribbing to start with and then they put sets in. It's a decent looking shaft. All the sets look pretty good. You could probably drop this with no problem. And of course, this is where the skip bucket would ride up and down, which means it was a very small bucket. Could you imagine hauling a 10 to 15 gallon size bucket, skip bucket up and down those rails? It'd take you forever to drop this shaft, but they did it. They were tough as nails. So I'm assuming they were on the very tail of this vein. And if you follow this out in a straight line, you'll see prospect pits all along here. And I've even got a quartz outcropping, a blowout right over here. And then up on the hill there, you can see another parallel vein. And they were using a dozer to do a push. This is part of the original vein structure. It's a blowout. This is probably what they originally saw. It's beautiful looking material. And it would obviously get my attention as well. And you can see the float going down the hill. And then of course there's a prospect pit right there there if i had to guess there's another one on the other side of that hill now do you guys see something unusual here doesn't that look out of place that looks like very fresh mine dump this is definitely something that was mined out recently and if you look closely you'll see inclusions of chalcopyrite in there and if i had to guess gold is traveling with that so i'm going to take some of these samples i'm going to look for free milk gold and if we have sulfides we'll go ahead and collect those up roast them and see if any values come out of that mm -hmm. 